Veikra Leviticus 6. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, If a soul sin and commit a transgression against Yahuwah, and lie unto his neighbor in that which was delivered him to keep, or in fellowship, or in a thing taken away by violence, or has deceived at his neighbor, or have found that which was lost, and lies concerning it, and swears falsely, in any of all these that a man does, sinning therein. Then it shall be, because he has sinned, and is guilty, that he shall restore at that which he took violently away, or at the thing which he has deceitfully gotten, or at that which was delivered him to keep, or at the lost thing which he found, or all that about which he has sworn falsely. He shall even restore it in the principle, and shall add the fifth part more thereto, and give it unto him to whom it appertains in the day of his trespass offering. And he shall bring at his trespass offering unto Yahuwah a ram without blemish out of the flock, with your estimation, for a trespass offering unto the priest. And the priest shall make an atonement for him before Yahuwah, and it shall be forgiven him for anything of all that he has done in trespassing therein. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Command at Aharan and at his sons, saying, This is the Torah of the burnt offering. It is the burnt offering because of the burning upon the altar all night unto the morning, and the fire of the altar shall be burning in it. And the priest shall put on his linen garment, and his linen breeches shall he put upon his flesh, and take up at the ashes which the fire has consumed, at with the burnt offering on the altar. And he shall put them beside the altar, and he shall put off at his garments, and put on other garments, and carry forth at the ashes without the camp unto a clean place. And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning, and lay the burnt offering in order upon it. And he shall burn thereon the fat of the peace offerings. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. And this is the Torah of the meat offering. The sons of Aharan shall offer it before Yahuwah, before the altar. And he shall take of it his handful of the flour of the meat offering and of the oil thereof and at all the frankincense which is upon the meat offering and shall burn it upon the altar for a sweet savor, even the memorial of it unto Yahuwah. And the remainder thereof Rather, remainder thereof shall Aharan and his sons eat. With matzah shall it be eaten in the holy place, in the court 
of the tabernacle of the assembly they shall eat it. It shall not be bacon with leaven. I have given it unto them for their portion of my offerings made by fire. It is most holy, as is the sin offering, and as the trespass offering. All the males among the children of Aharan shall eat of it. It shall be a statute forever in your generations concerning the offerings of Yahuwah made by fire. Everyone that touches them shall be holy. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, This is the offering of Aharan and of his sons, which they shall offer unto Yahuwah in the day when he is anointed. The tenth part of an ephah of fine flour for a meat offering, perpetual, half of it in the morning and half thereof at night. In a pan it shall be made with oil, and when it is bacon, ye shall bring it in, and the bacon pieces of the meat offering shall you offer for a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. And the priest of his sons that is anointed in his stead shall offer it. It is a statute forever unto Yahuwah. It shall be wholly burnt. For every meat offering for the priest shall be wholly burnt. It shall not be eaten. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto El Aharan and to his sons, saying, This is the Torah of the sin offering, in the place where the burnt offering is killed shall the sin offering be killed before Yahuwah. It is most holy. The priest that offers it for sin shall eat it. In the holy place shall it be eaten. In the court of the tabernacle of the assembly. Whatsoever shall touch the flesh thereof shall be holy, and when there is sprinkled of the blood thereof upon any garment, you shall wash that whereon it was sprinkled in the holy place. But the earthen vessel wherein it is sodden shall be broken, and if it be sodden in a brazen pot, it shall be both scored, rather scoured, and rinsed in water. All the males among the priests shall eat thereof. It is most holy. And no sin offering, whereof any of the blood is brought into the tabernacle of the assembly to reconcile with all in the holy place, shall be eaten. It shall be burnt in the fire.